Hey everybody, Rob from Heli Skunk here, and I have something I want to tell you about today. Something that's pretty interesting, actually. I'll ask all of you a question. How many people out there have at some point crashed a helicopter? If you're like me, probably most of you. Second question, which may be a dumb question. Do you like crashing your helicopter? Once again, if you're like me, the answer is most likely no. Well, that's what I want to talk about today. And I want to tell you something that you can add to your helicopter that can almost virtually eliminate crashing. And I know that sounds like a pretty wild and bold state, but believe me, it's actually true. So, follow me over here to this tree, and I'll tell you about it. So what I want to tell you about here today is we have something from a company called FMA Direct and Rev Electrics. And what it is, is it's called the Co- Pilot 2. It will work on helicopters, it will work on airplanes. I only fly helicopters, so obviously I have it installed on a helicopter. And I'm just going to turn this around. What I have here is a E-Flight Blade 400 from Horizon Hobby, which is essentially an entry-level 400 size heli, but still with pretty good performance for an entry-level helicopter. And what you can see on here is this is the FMA Direct, this is the avionics module on the helicopter. And what we have here is this is hooked in to a couple sensors that are on the helicopter. The sensor that you see mounted to the side of the tail boom here, this tells the Co-Pilot 2 unit whether the helicopter is right side up or upside down. The sensor on the tail tells the avionics computer what angle the helicopter at is at in relation to the horizon. So what's the point and purpose of this electronic hardware on this helicopter? Well what it does is it's an auto leveling system or what's known as a FSS or flight stabilization system. Essentially the horizontal sensor which is what this is called is always reading the helicopters both roll and pitch position in relation to the horizon. And since it knows how the helicopter is supposed to be in relation to the horizon, it can always keep the helicopter level and it can keep it upright. And by the way, uh, a number of months back I did a flight, well I've done several flights, but there was one that I recorded using the FMA Rev Electrics Co-Pilot 2 and I'm going to post a link on the bottom of the screen Maybe not at this moment, but coming up shortly, I'll post a link to that flight so you can watch and see how much this will stabilize your helicopter. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that video in just a moment. So anyway, the whole point of the Copilot 2 is to stabilize your helicopter pretty much for the purpose of keeping it from crashing. And I got to tell you guys, it's... Uh, you know, I've tried other things in the past, and some of them work pretty good, some of them don't work so good, but the FMA Direct Rev Electrics Co-Pilot 2 is just amazing, and I'm not going to say something is amazing unless I believe it is amazing, 100%. Uh, in the video that you're about to watch, I'm going to go ahead and put the link down there now. Here's the link. And in watching that video, what I'd like you to remember is you're going to see the helicopter where I'm going taking it up, flying it up, and taking it upside down, inverted, and it was actually, it was hard, it was difficult for me to keep the helicopter inverted because the FMA Co-Pilot 2 system is constantly wanting to upright the helicopter and keep it level. It's very hard to actually crash the helicopter when the system is operating. Now, just so you know right off the bat, there are different modes. You can program the flight module 
for to do different flight modes. Now I had it in what's called the basically the level flight mode. That is specifically that is the mode to specifically just keep your helicopter upright to keep it level. Okay. Now there's also for more advanced pilots out there there is a 3D mode which will let you fly inverted and, and stabilize the helicopter in an inverted mode in inverted flight so just so you know that but I had it in the regular mode like this and uh, I gotta tell you guys this is the coolest that I've seen a lot of avionics uh, little gadgets and things that you can add on to helicopters but uh, this is absolutely one of the coolest whether you're a beginner uh, RC helicopter pilot to an intermediate or even advanced um, this thing is very hard I was trying everything to make the helicopter just go out of control really and it was difficult to impossible to get it to go out of control so what does it all come down to well if you want to save yourself a lot of money and uh, after a crash, save yourself a lot of money in things like buying parts for your helicopter, repairing your helicopter, and so forth. Well, the FMA Rebel Electric Scope Pilot 2 is definitely the way to go. Very, very hard to crash your helicopter with this thing installed. Once you, it's real easy to. We're going to be going in this, over this in later videos. Uh, there's a small black box. I don't have it here with me now, but there's a programming box that you use to program the avionics module. Once that's done, you're good to go. You can fly it, and uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in the video uh, when you watch that. So anyway, guys, I just we're going to be doing some subsequent videos. We're going to do a video showing you how it's uh, installed onto a helicopter, and you can install this on anything from I mean, generally from a 400 size all the way to a 700 size. And we're also going to try it possibly on a 250 size helicopter. It might even work for that. And we're going to go through how to program it. And the initial programming is, I know that some people out there may be a little bit intimidated by uh, things like this avionics. It might seem complicated, but actually it's very simple. And I'm going to show you how to go through the initial uh, setup step FMA has actually made it very simple for your first uh, when you're first setting it up for the uh, stable flight mode so anyway I just wanted to let you guys know about that we will be doing more videos on it uh, in the meantime uh, if you'd like to go ahead and watch the video where I was flying uh, with the co-pilot 2 armed and uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about so I am Rob from Heli Skunk, and I'd like to say take care and wish all of you happy flying.